we're here at Soft Week this week to uh, show off our short range reconnaissance drones. Uh, we have two subsidiaries under Red Cat, one being Teal Drones out of Salt Lake City. Teal is the uh, engineering workforce around the Black Widow short range reconnaissance drone that was recently selected as the award winner for the short range reconnaissance program of record for the US Army last year. A 35 minute flight time, eight kilometer range, has high resolution daytime and nighttime cameras on it. It was truly built for the frontline warfighter in that uh, field repairability is one of our biggest differentiators. The warfighter, if, it, if the drone does take a hard landing, they can repair it themselves, put a new motor arm on it, put a new gibble assembly on it. They don't have to ship it back to us, which keeps them back out in the fight. Um, it also, we have drone collaboration technology software that allows the uh, multiple drones to be operated at once and those to be working in concert. So we work with companies like Paladine AI, who's actually here with us at Soft Week, um, to work on sensor fusion technology to allow drones to work in concert and uh, reduce that cognitive load on the warfighter. We also have another part of our company is Flightwave Aerospace. They're based in Long Beach, California. Uh, they produce an aircraft called the Edge 130. The Edge 130 is very much like a mini Osprey. It's a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, takes off vertically and flies horizontally. So it makes it very efficient in flight. That fixed wing profile can get out to 20 kilometers uh, with about an hour flight time. The plan over time is to actually create a portable kill train or a toolkit for the warfighter that allows them to select from any one of our systems, whether it be the Edge 130, Black Widow, uh, FPV technology, and potentially even counter UAS technology, all flown from the same controller. But we were selected at the end of last year as the, uh, the selection of choice, the sole source choice for the SRR, that's a short range reconnaissance program of record with the US Army. We are in the process of a production contract at the moment. Uh, this will then get hundreds if not thousands of drones fielded over the next few years. Uh, and again, it's for that frontline warfighter where, uh, again, at any given moment, they can use this drone to look over that next hill and get the informed decisions they make to make uh, the, the kind of critical decisions that could save lives. I'm Matt Foote, the CRO at Paladine AI, which is a software company in Salt Lake City, Utah. We are partnered with uh, Red Cat Teal Drones, which is also a company in Salt Lake City, Utah, to uh, offer a combined hardware software, sort of best in class small drone for, uh, for the defense market and, and commercial market, frankly, but uh, global market. So uh, we're really excited about what the combined platform brings and we're excited to be here with Teal and Red Cat. The recent tests that we did involved flying three platforms autonomously together to have those platforms act as a single drone team for the operator on the ground. So they were two Teal 2 drones and a single Black Widow Teal drone that were operating uh, in harmony and communicating with one another. The software allows the systems to fuse multimodal sensor data and also to collaborate uh, sharing position and other things to maintain target track on the ground most effectively. So we're really excited about that. That test, uh, it's a big milestone and we're looking forward to going out with, with Teal and Red Cat to demonstrate for our customers in the future. We are right now using the control mechanism that Teal is using. So uh, right now we're using an ATAC tablet. Uh, the operator then uh, pre-plans the mission by identifying where the platforms are going to go and what they're going to look for. And then they're commanded to go out autonomously to, uh, to track targets and then to report back when they need to. So. Um, it really is designed to allow the operator to be freed up to focus on the mission instead of having to control the drones manually in an area of interest. So the operator doesn't have to manually control the platforms at all. Um, they're able to self-orchestrate based on position uh, to one another and also based on uh, position to the targets or the objects of interest on the ground. What we're interested in is, is really making this, this platform a best in class sort of uh, platform for the small UAS community. It's about autonomy, right? It's, it doesn't have, artificial intelligence is a buzzword that, that may be confusing at this point. Think about it as autonomy that allows you, the operator, to focus on your mission. It does things that you tell it to do, um, and it, through reinforcement learning, gets better over time. So the software continuously gets better over time. But it's platform agnostic. Uh, we're excited about our partnership with Teal, um, and we're excited about where that's going to go from here.